Number 1. First Deep Field when observed in mid-infrared light by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, galaxy cluster SMAX 0723 looks like a technicolor landscape. The galaxies and stars are drenched in new colors when compared to Webb's near-infrared image at right. Begin by comparing the brightest blue star. It features unusually long diffraction spikes at right, but in mid-infrared at left, its tiny points look more like snowflakes. Look for these telltale if tiny, spikes to find more stars. Stars seem yellow as well, with green diffraction spikes on occasion. A galaxy is an object that is blue and has no spikes. These galaxies have stars but minimal dust. This indicates that their stars are older, with less gas and dust available to condense and generate new stars. It also signifies that their stars are becoming older. The red objects in this field are veiled in thick dust layers and could represent distant galaxies. Some of the objects in the mid-infrared image could be stars, but more research is needed to fully identify each object. The conspicuous arcs at the galaxy cluster's center, which are galaxies stretched and amplified by gravitational lensing, appear blue in the mid-infrared instrument image on the left, and orange in the near-infrared camera image on the right. The sizes of galaxies in both photos indicate their distance. The smaller the object, the farther away it is closer galaxies seem whiter in mid-infrared light. Green is the most enticing color in this kaleidoscope of colors in the Miri image. Green signifies that the dust in a galaxy contains a mixture of hydrocarbons and other chemical substances. Number 2. Neptune This image of the Neptune system, obtained by Webb's near-infrared camera, shows spectacular views of the planet's rings that haven't been seen in more than three decades. Webb's new Neptune image includes features of the planet's tumultuous, windy atmosphere. Neptune, an ice giant, has a significantly richer interior in elements heavier than hydrogen and helium, such as methane, than Jupiter and Saturn, which are gas giants. Methane looks blue in visible wavelengths, but not in the near-infrared, as shown in Webb's photograph. Methane absorbs so powerfully that the planet is completely dark at near-infrared wavelengths, except when high-altitude clouds are present. These methane ice clouds are visible as brilliant streaks and patches in Webb's vision, reflecting sunlight before it is absorbed by methane gas. In this image, one of Neptune's moons, Triton, has Webb's signature eight diffraction spikes, which are an artifact of the telescope's structure. Webb also photographed six more of Neptune's 14 known moons, as well as a smattering of distant galaxies, visible as dim splotches and a nearby star. Number three, Stefan's Quintet. Stefan's Quintet is the largest image ever captured by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, covering around one-fifth of the moon's diameter. It has about 150 million pixels and is made up of nearly 1,000 different image files. Webb's near-infrared camera and mid-infrared instrument caught the visual grouping of five galaxies. Webb's strong infrared vision and exceptionally high spatial resolution reveal previously unseen characteristics in this galaxy group. The image is adorned with sparkling clusters of millions of newborn stars and starburst regions of new starbirth. Gravitational interactions are pulling sweeping tails of gas, dust, and stars from many galaxies. This NIRCAM MIRI composite image employs two of the three MIRI filters to best reveal and differentiate the galaxy's hot dust and structure. MIRI detects a noticeable hue difference between the dust in galaxies and the shock waves between interacting galaxies. The image processing specialists at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore chose to emphasize that distinction by assigning distinct yellow and orange colors to MIRI data as opposed to the blue and white colors attributed to stars at NIRCAM wavelengths. Wolf Rayet, 140 shells of cosmic dust formed by binary star interaction, appear as tree rings around Wolf Rayet 140. The amazing regularity of the shell's spacing shows that they form like clockwork throughout the star's eight-year orbit cycle, when the binary's two components come closest to each other. Webb's mid-infrared instrument data at 7.7, .7, 15, and 21 microns were assigned blue, green, and red colors in this image. Dwarf Galaxy WLM, the Spitzer Space Telescope's Infrared Array Camera, and the James Webb Space Telescope's Near Infrared Camera, 
photographed a piece of the dwarf galaxy Wolf Lundmark Malat. The images show Webb's extraordinary ability to distinguish dim stars beyond the Milky Way. Spitzer's image depicts 3.6 micron light in cyan and 4.5 micron light in orange, IRAC 1 and IRAC 2. The Webb image contains 0.9 micron blue light, 1.5 micron cyan light, 2.5 micron yellow light, and 4.3 micron red light. Neptune Wide Field A sprinkling of hundreds of background galaxies, differing in size and shape, show beside the Neptune system in this view from Webb's near-infrared camera. When compared to Earth, Neptune is a large planet. Neptune would be the size of a basketball if Earth were the size of a nickel. Most depictions of our solar system's outer planets reflect their alien immensity. In a wide-field view of the immense universe, Neptune appears rather small. A barred spiral galaxy comes into focus towards the bottom left of this image. According to scientists, this hitherto unknown galaxy may be around a billion light-years away. Young stars, which appear bluish in these wavelengths, frequently dominate spiral galaxies like this one. Number 7, NGC 346 NGC 346 is an active star cluster 200,000 light-years away, as seen in this image from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared camera. Webb discovers significantly more building components than previously thought, not only for stars, but also for planets, in the form of clouds densely packed with dust and gas. This image's plumes and arcs of gas contain two forms of hydrogen, the pink gas represents energetic hydrogen, which can be as hot as 10,000 degrees Celsius or more, whereas the orange gas represents dense, molecular hydrogen, which is much colder at around minus 200 degrees Celsius or less, as well as related dust. The cooler gas is an ideal setting for stars to form, and as they do, they alter the atmosphere around them. The result is visible in the numerous ridges that form as the light of these young stars breaks down the dense clouds. The region's many incandescent gas pillars demonstrate the impacts of stellar erosion.